That'll work. So, Mr. Bedbug, I have a few questions for you this evening. At this, uh, pretty much, we're gathered here tonight for this person called Harry Potter. And uh, I just wanted some of your thoughts on this character. So, is it? Would you say it's been a a rocky history? Uh, negative, positive. <laughs> well, I went to him once, and he had a he had a very special to the Lord, and a tested full of uh, magic, and and he he had a, a blood type O, which is a very rare type of blood. Uh, a lot of, uh, Can you hear what I'm saying? Kind of. In a rare type of blood. Type blood O. Yeah, type, yeah, type O. And some, some people don't like it, but really you just get used to it. It's, uh, it's, so are you a British bedbug? Uh, I don't really like to think of myself as British. I like to think of myself as a citizen of the world. Uh, uh, yeah, so I was, I was born in Britain uh, 24 hours ago. And, uh, well, I'll probably only live a few days longer. You were uh, born 24 hours ago? Is that what you just said? Yes, I've a very short after, a very short life. Uh, the, we, have five, we have five stages, and at each stage, in order to evolve to the next stage, you have to write somebody. And once you, once you reach your adult stage, you don't live very much longer. I, I, I think I'll have in Sandigan very many female dogs, and my offspring will like more people. It's the circle of life, really. Oh, I see. So, back to your relationship with Harry Potter. Where did you first meet? Well, he was laying in a bed unconscious, and, and I said, I would just like to fight that. I would really like to bite that. Really that's what you said. I'd really like to bite that. Wow, that's very forward. Yes, uh, so I feel like you should take these things slow. You only live for around a, about a week. You, uh, you kind of skip past all the nuances of our relationship. Ah, uh, I see. And uh, so I, I was born in a uh, a, a door in Hogwarts, and. And there, there was a lot of only wizards in that room. Uh, but he, I said something special in him. His, his blood, his blood, it smelled like, like uh, some sort of uh, aphrodisiac. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I couldn't, I couldn't stop. You say aphrodisiac? Aphrodisiac. <laughs> I was. I... <laughs> Oh, uh, so, so I started on the other side of the door. And Harry Potter's an aphrodisiac? Is that what I just heard? Yes. And so I'll read that count. Oh, All right. So I heard from an egg near here. And that's when I saw him. I saw Harry Potter. And I, and I said, I must have that. And so I started scurrying over there. They got very, very slow. Whenever they find something they want, they were very persistent. They started scurrying, scurrying, scurrying. And then someone came walking by, and he almost stuck on me. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I kicked the door. Scary. Scary. And then, then those can't jump. I have to crawl up the line. That's sad. Here, now you lay down for today, Harry Potter. I'm now Harry Potter. What, 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 
And then I, I crawled and I got to them. And some of these are all just right on the leg. But that's not where the last juices are. In order to get to the last juices, just to crawl, crawl all the way up the leg. Fucking poor son. And up to the armpit. No, no, no! <laughs> well, thank you for your time, uh, Bedbug. You're welcome. And uh, for your opinion on this evening's activities. <laughs>